But the idea is that would be the sort of classic approach. Okay, so now enter year 2000 and five, six, I guess, I don't know. Whitaker was a, 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 a professor in Florida and then he moved to uh, Microsoft, left Microsoft, went to Google, said Google, no good, go back to Microsoft. Uh, but the idea is this guy, this is the guy. So James, I think he differentiated himself in a lot of different ones as James A. Whitaker, but the idea is he's now back at that. He created uh, the first book he has, and I'll, I have this in my last slides, How to Break Software. It's a very, very good book. Um, <coughs> He talks about a lot of these different attacks and gave you great ideas. This one is getting popular now, which is a software testing tours. Uh, SAP, uh, Microsoft, that's the method that they use. And sometimes SAP now will go to a group and help them test and stuff like that. They'll go and say, do these testing tours as part of their test process. So what he's done is he's come up with these 13 tours. I think SAP might call one, of these, one or two of these slightly different, but the idea is he come up with 13 what he calls tours. And that their, their idea is that each one is different enough to be sort of mentioned here. But that's sort of trying to cover the entire space. I would argue that maybe you could say some of them overlap each other. But what they are, are testing tours is a way of thinking when you go in. He, he's less, I think, now we're less, uh, when exploratory testing, we're less involved about you know, the actual practical. But like, he's trying to put you in a certain mindset. And we saw that in his first book, uh, How to Break Software. So. Let's talk a little bit about these 13 tours, and once I get through that, I'll kind of like hopefully talk a little bit and see if you guys understand what the idea of a tour is. Kind of, I show you like, this is a monkey, this is a monkey, this is a monkey. What is this? It's a monkey, right? Like, but hopefully you kind of kind of put pictures together because it's really hard sometimes when I talk about tours and explain what a tour is. It's much easier if I show you all the examples and then you go, oh, that's what a tour is, or maybe that's what, not what a tour is. Okay, okay. So the first one, let's talk a little bit about guidebook tour. So, also known as the helper F1 tour. Okay? The idea is that you're following the steps to the tutorial to see, you know, to the T. So a little bit, it's sort of a rework of a little bit of the happy path. Okay? But the idea is here you're going for the guidebook. You, in this case, you, in a way, you're also testing the guidebook itself. But you know, you're going the happy path, right? Like they never go rarely in F1 help. They say, you know, uh, if you uh, press Alt D right now, system will crash. Like the, they're telling you things like go here, go here, go here, right? So like for example, here is like I think I chose like because I was doing this presentation. I think uh, how to how to qu how to do a quick style on a smart graphic or something like that, right? And there's usually one, two, three, four, five steps. So this is an example of Microsoft F1 help, but that's the idea. Like what you mean? So lightweight ceremony, you can. You know, you might not uh, create a whole testing suite for that, but you might want to say, well, you use that documentation that we already have. Uh, so that's why I say, should you be able to leverage documents? Usually because the feature is more important enough to have a help file or help guide, so usually it exists, right? It's kind of one in the cart and the horse, right? They, usually important features have help, and help features that have help are usually important features. Okay? This one can be done by anybody who I guess now that you mentioned the language thing. Anybody who reads the language of that one specific type of localization. So low barrier to entry in this one, okay? Next one, the money tour, okay? These are things that bring people to your application or your portal or anything like that. The idea is of what makes you, what makes users come to you. The what is that golden thread, that important thing to you. So for example, Vegas, Strip, Casino, man. That's why you go there. Like maybe you visit the Hoover Dam, but most people go <laughs> and go to the casino, right? That, that's, a, that's what we're talking about here, right? What brings customers to you, and just like casinos last day, focus on the star features. This is, has to do with prioritization. You're now looking at those features that dif either differentiate you or core to user or kind of stuff like that. Withdrawal bank, money from your ATM, I would say is a star feature of an ATM, right? I don't think anyone's gonna argue anything different, okay? So that's the money tour. Somewhat linked, but slightly different, is the landmark tour, and the landmark tour is uh, in sort of uh, James Winokur style is the idea is like how you kind of go on vacation, right? So like for example, this is Paris, great city, went a couple years ago, got some time off for a customer meeting. First thing I do is pull up the map and I pick all those landmarks I want to go to and then I drew my backpacking out of the room, traveling salesman, best way to get around to all of them, right? The idea is here is uh, the landmark tour is one of the ones where you isolate what you call landmarks or what important states or features or places or pages and then what you do is you start connecting the dots between the two, right? Obviously, we don't brute force it and say connect, go from every landmark to every other man landmark, but the idea is like this is a win case that you can cover every landmark 
but you do it in sort of a, you go to one spot, you get your bearings again, you go to another spot, you go like, so what happens is you pick the must-see lands, landscapes, you optimize your route through the landscapes, and then you go from landmark to landmark. And you do that as a one trip, so you don't start all over. Does that make sense? So basically what you're doing is you're trying to, it's literally like you get dropped in Paris. This is exactly what I did, right? And I put a map and I drew a little circle. And I said, okay, train here, bus here, da, 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 and I, I go here. And then, day. like I said, it's kind of like a domain model that James, James Whitaker is talking about. And he, he, he will differentiate them so you can pick them in your mind as to what, like what process, thought process you're going through. But that doesn't mean that they are not mutually exclusive. So the intellectual tool, I don't think you're here, but the idea is like, Everybody has that geeky gliding class, you know, who sat in and like asked all the questions and then half the time you didn't even know what he was asking and the prof was like, would just go off on tangent and you're like, the rest of the class is like, I don't understand what's going on here, right? The idea is the intellectual tour, they, this one is a little important here, they push the limits of the softener but not beyond. Okay, so that's, that's James Whitaker's definition, right? So they, it's a little bit of white box because they have to know a little bit of the application. So some of the other ones you could kind of do with people who may not have been involved in your development process or in the project. But this one, you need somebody who has insight into your project. They need to know intimate knowledge because they need to know where the limits are. If they don't know the limits, how can they get close to the limit? Does that sort of make sense? Right? So that's the intellectual tour. This user is not the 90th percentile. <laughs> That, that, that's another thing I should put up. They, this testing tour, like, you know, that's one of the reasons I think James kind of, James Whitaker created some of these things. You're, you know, like first, sure, the happy path will take care of, you know, the good 80%, 80-20 type of rule. This guy, he, he's, the, he's the one geek in the class as opposed to the 99 guys. He, he is not the norm. If you're asking that question, it's bang on, exactly right. You are not trying to be the norm guy. You're trying to be within the bell curve in this particular, because you're not going beyond the limits but you're not in the middle of the bell curve at all. You're definitely near like, you know, 10th, 5th percentile or something like that. And, okay, so this is the next one is the FedEx tour. I got this about the FedEx site and they said, this is generally how your package gets to Germany or when I send stuff to Germany, how it kind of goes, right? The FedEx tour is like online tracking for your app, okay? And sometimes it's easier to do depending on your technology and the platform you have. You have tools to help you do that. The idea is basically you're following data inputs. You're kind of like, being that super snooth and going around the trail. So in the previous thing, you're a landmark tour, you're going around as a UI person, you have landmarks. This is kind of like following the data in the back end, right? So you want to watch it being saved, displayed, is it printed, is it exported, you know, does it get, mod you modify it, does it change, does it change the database, does it change on the screen, that type of thing. You're following the path, like in this package in FedEx. Like for example, uh, for sure they do quality control all the time. They probably send a package and they make sure like, you know, does the website meet like the plane. Is it really on the way to Memphis? <laughs> or, or Paris, Ontario, or Paris, London, right? That kind of thing, right? You may need special expertise and you may need special tours. This is one of the ones with a high barrier to entry, okay? This FedEx tour, okay? The idea is here, you want to take something, kind of follow it around. 